Our story takes us to Clifton on the west coast of Ireland. This historic site of Captain John Alcock and Lieutenant Arthur Brown landed after the first transatlantic flight in June 1919. Both men flew their modified Vickers Vimy from Leicester's Field near St John's, Newfoundland to Clifton in Ireland, almost 1900 miles away. Today we are following the adventure of Maynard Hill and his team. To date they have built and flown four model planes along Alcock and Brown's route in an effort to set a new world record as the first true model plane to make the transatlantic journey. Sadly, all four have experienced problems along the way and were lost in the great Atlantic Ocean. After launching another on August 10th, hope of number five was fading as communications with the plane were lost. With the last word heard at 3.30 a.m., having travelled an amazing 1,465 miles. Things started to look up at 7 a.m. Another transmission was heard from TAM 5. While out of contact, the model had travelled another 147 miles. The excitement was building as this was the best chance of success to date. Here we got it. We got it. Coming in loud and clear now. Altitude is uh, 309 metres. Heading is 94 through. The ground speed is uh, 85. And at the moment it's 10.6 uh, metres, kilometres away from us. simply flew all the way over here on autopilot until it was over our head and it was interesting because we were all looking for it on the horizon and then all of a sudden someone spotted it and it was almost directly overhead before we spotted it but uh, it did exactly as it was programmed it got over this point and started to make a turn to come back and it was programmed to do a kind of a racetrack pattern around this point at which point through manipulation of some switches on the transmitter here I could wake up the receiver and take over control and land it just spiraled it down slowly and uh, shut the engine off and glided it in for landing here. It's 0.462 north, yep. west, zero, 010 zero degrees, zero 07 minutes, yep. 0.892. On the 14th, on the 11th of August at 1412. 1408 with the All we have to do now is weigh it. We have a question. Was there a rocker cover on this engine when it left? <laughs> oh, there was not a rocker cover on it. <laughs> That's, that was too heavy. There's <laughs> a wing and a tail and a fuselage, all made of stick. Very much like the old stick and paper models that kids made when they were kids. Done that way primarily to make it light. It's covered with a red uh, translucent uh, covering. It's actually a plastic that is heat shrunk onto it. And of course it has a four-stroke engine in the front end, and uh, the whole center section of it is fuel tank. It's basically a flying fuel tank. If he sucked the other way, we could send him back. <laughs> Maynard is an individual who has set many, many world records. And uh, he's, the, he's the brains behind this whole operation. He's the one that designed the models and, and built the models with some help from, from some others, but uh, he's the engineer that developed the whole systems and did the testing and so on. Uh, for me, it was just an honor to be the pilot to fly it for the last probably three minutes to land it here. 